at the beginning of year 12, I wrote a blog post on my phobia of throwing up. I've just never been able to talk about it really. It's just sort of, I try and avoid it because I didn't want to dwell on it too much and things like that. So yeah, this article went up, lots of people reading it, super cool. Yesterday morning, two people tweeted me asking to speak to me about it and I thought, okay, this is cool, who are these people? I went on their Twitter profiles and they are two people from the BBC. <laughs> and I'm so pleased that the condition is getting so much publicity because so many people actually suffer with it, even if it's not as serious as how I suffer with it or how serious other people may suffer it more than I do. Um, but it just, I think it's just so good to make people know that they're not alone in the situation. Hello everybody and welcome to a new little series on my channel which is going to be a series of four, five or six short, I'm going to keep it short, videos about my Thrive Programme journey. Do we call it that? Do we call it a journey? I don't know. So I'm just going to get straight into it because I don't know what else to say and otherwise I'm just going to babble for way too long. So I received this book. Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive last Wednesday afternoon. Today is Tuesday, so it has been about a week since I first started and I was very cynical about it before. I'd read about it a couple of years ago and thought I can't understand how a book can help me not be scared of being sick. Um, so I just didn't bother. I just carried on and thought, you know what, I'm dealing with it, I'll just keep on dealing with it um, the way I am. But last week, when everything blew up and I spoke to the BBC and blah blah blah, um, Rob Kelly, who wrote this book, who has spent years writing this to make it the best it can be, um, got in contact with me and said, no, I reckon with my help you'll be able to do it in a month. So I said, okay then, let's do it. So I got the book um, and I had my first Skype session on Saturday and it's going well. I'm doing all the exercises. So far it's allowed me to understand why I think the way I do and what I need to change about my thinking to improve the way I feel. Hello, I am at home now and I am currently in my fourth week of the Thrive Programme and I think it's going really well and I still have days where I feel um, anxious and I'll have thoughts about like pro-metaphobic thoughts about things but I'm much better at controlling it and I'm much better at overcoming it a lot quicker. Hello! Um, this is my final set of four videos logging my progress through the Thrive Programme. This video is slightly overdue. Last week was my fourth week, so the end of my month of the programme. I finished the book last week and I finished the last few chapters which were the dream technique overcoming your phobia and thriving. So those are the three chapters that I finished last week and I have to say while I was reading the chapter I was feeling really really anxious about the way my stomach was feeling. That day after I'd had a weekend away with some friends and we'd been drinking and eating a lot and I was exhausted and I was getting a bit anxious about the way my stomach was feeling but I managed to use the dream technique to understand that getting anxious about being ill was unhelpful, rewarding myself for it, changing it to understand that I'm in control, I'm turning this into anxiety when all it is is just being run down after a long weekend and within minutes I was fine and I was just went to sleep. Since I finished the book and since I've been applying all of these things to my life I have been reheating food, I have been eating food that's slightly out of date that is fine and I know it's fine and I don't need to overthink it I have eaten street food off a food market, I have helped my friend be sick after a night out, 
um, and watched it happen and not freaked out at all. I wasn't scared in the slightest. Um, my little brother wasn't very well and admittedly he didn't have a stomach bug so I feel like my reaction would have been different if he'd have had a stomach bug but he did say he felt sick and I was in the house and I did get into a panic but I managed to calm myself down and then spent the afternoon with him and spent the next morning looking after him on my own which I never would have done a few weeks ago. So there are situations in my life that usually I would not have entered into that I 100% have without even any kind of anxiety at all. In conclusion to my experience of the Thrive Programme, I feel like it helps you understand your thinking, it helps you understand why you're feeling that way and that in itself I feel is the most important step to making some sort of progress in overcoming how you feel. I think once you understand where it's coming from and how you created it, it makes it so much easier to uncreate it, if that makes sense. It is all just about how you think and I feel a lot better in myself, I feel a lot more confident, I feel like I can cope in situations that I never even would have let myself be put in before. I think I can say that in my day-to-day -day life now, in terms of eating and um, best before dates on food and things like that and alcohol and being around my friends who have been drinking um, and looking after them and maybe even I think I'd be able to cope with even being around some form of being sick that if it wasn't contagious but if it was for another type of illness I reckon I could deal with that now which I never thought I'd say.